Hey class, welcome to lab number one. People often struggle with this lab just mostly because it's the first lab and it does have some fairly detailed instructions um, and it's got some funny little features that I wanna kinda of go through together. So, so when you first open the lab, this is what you're going to see, okay? And the first thing that you should do, obviously, is read through the purpose over here these procedures, and uh, you know it's got it's got detailed instructions over here for exactly how you need to go through everything, and it uh, yeah, so make sure you read through that sort of first and foremost. Okay, the next thing that you want to do, let's just go ahead and click on the journal down here. So my first comment about this journal is this is just a very temporary journal. Anything that you type in here is not saved and it is not sent to me, okay? So maybe it's actually better to, to cut and paste these questions into a Word document, into your own Word document, and type the information up in there. But let's go ahead and click this and open it up. And let's just read through the questions. So first thing it says we wanna do is make a hypothesis about how you, about how the two species will grow alone and how they will grow together, okay? Um, so read through the lab, that'll make a little bit more sense when you do that. Um, but yeah, this is sort of the first question you wanna ask before it, you wanna sort of come up with an answer to. There's really no right or wrong answer, just make sure that it's sort of logical, but you wanna fill this question out before you actually go through the lab. So, so maybe take a couple of minutes here, read through the lab and give, give an answer to this question. Okay. Explain how you test your hypothesis. What this question is looking for, now as I'm going through these questions, these are the actual questions for the lab. So when you're typing this up, these are the actual lab questions that you're going to answer. So when it says here, test how you, explain how you tested your hypothesis, what you really wanna do here is go through detailed explanations of how you did the experiment that we're about to do together as a group, okay? so. I should be able to read this. Moreover, I should be able to hand my wife your explanation and she should be able to completely understand exactly what you did without having to read this lab or do this experiment uh, you know, ahead of time, okay? So this should be completely understandable to, your, to whoever else is in the house with you or my wife, okay? And the rest of these questions are going to be uh, questions that are going to be related to the lab. So I'll let you click through these and read them on your own, but it's a good idea to read these questions ahead of time. That way you have an idea of sort of what to look for as you're doing the lab. So, so again, what I would do here is maybe create a separate Word document and start typing these and, and copy and paste these questions and come up with your answers as you're going through it. So I'm gonna close this out. Okay, so now what we do is we've got these two vials, this uh, paramecium, uh, I'm just gonna say paramecium C and paramecium A, okay? And what we wanna do is see if we've got these three vials over here, these three test tubes. And what we're gonna do is take one squeeze of this, so I clicked on it, and I'm gonna click on it again, hold it, drag it over here, and let go. And you see it added five milliliters of the paramecium C to this vial. Let's do, click on this guy, Click once, now click again and hold, drag, and put it in test tube two, fill it up, You've got five milliliters. Now with this third one over here, we wanna put equal amounts of paramecium C and paramecium A. Okay, so we've got five paramecium C, Okay, now just because I am anal retentive, I see that there's five milliliters in these two vials, 10 milliliters in, these two vi in this vial. Let's go ahead and make them even. So in this first vial where we put paramecium C, let's go ahead and click on it again and put five more milliliters in there. Okay, so now we've got 10 milliliters in each one of them. First vial's got paramecium C, second has paramecium A, 
The third has, a, has an equal mixture of each. Okay, so we've got our little samples here. So now, let's, click, let's go over here to the microscope. Click on it, brings me over here, okay? So we've got a microscope over here, we've got clean microscope slides here, a calendar right here, and uh, we've got our samples over here. So the first thing we wanna do is we're going to, and again, this is all in the procedures over here, is I'm gonna click on the clean microscope slides, and that's gonna provide me with three slides. Next thing I wanna do is I wanna take a sample. I'm gonna click on this, look for it to highlight. It's always kind of a little finicky. Click on that, and it put sample one, a droplet of sample one here, a droplet of sample two here, and a droplet of sample three here. So make sure you're taking notes about which vial has which in it. Now what I'm gonna do is click on this, drag it, and place it on the microscope. Okay, and we see up here we've got a little, we've got a view of what we would see in the microscope. And what we wanna do is count the number of bacteria that we see on the screen, okay? And what we wanna do is it says, we've got one paramecium C on this slide. So what we would wanna do here is we've actually got it though, but you can't save this data. Let's see this mixed paramecium together. Okay, oh, I'm sorry. So paramecium A grown in the mix. So make this same table. That's what I would recommend because you can't save this. It says so. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I've counted the paramecium C. I would enter that in the column where it says paramecium C grown alone. Next, I'm gonna click on this guy, the second one, drag it up here, and it'll just automatically swipe it out as you can see here. Now I see one paramecium A on here. Make sure you read the instructions about how it tells you to get a proper count for that Excel file. You have to do a little very basic math, so make sure you're, count, you know, you're, you're taking that into account. I'll leave that as a hint. Next, let's take this third slide, drag it, put it up here, and this is our mixed vial. So we've got one paramecium C and one paramecium A here, okay? So we've counted that, we've entered that into our data for day zero. Next, let's go ahead and oh, clean microscope slides. Oops. Okay, what do we do here? Oh, I'm sorry, clear slides. That's what we wanna press. Press the clear slides button. Okay, so now we got rid of those slides. Now what we wanna do is click on the calendar and that progressed at two days. Now we wanna get two more clean, or three more clean slides, take samples, and now do the same thing. Here's slide one again, and we count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Paramecium C grown alone. One, two, three, four, five. Paramecium A grown alone. Now we've got the mixed batch. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Paramecium C. One, two, three, four, paramecium A grown in that mixture. So enter those values into your slide, or into your Excel file, and then repeat this for all 16 days. For, you know, if the slide starts to get a little hectic and you need help counting, see this grid button right here? Click on that. It gives you a little grid that maybe helps your eyes track where they're counting. So you can turn that on if you'd like it to. But so now we've counted all of them, entered that value into an Excel file. Now again, we hit clear slides, hit the calendar, get clean microscope slides, and then we take samples and we count again, okay? Go ahead and do that. Remember again, these journals and the table, what I would do is copy and paste that into an Excel or Word document so that you can save that and turn it in separately. These buttons here, don't work. If you click submit on them, I will not get it, okay? So type this up into your own Word and Excel document and save this data on your own. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope this helps. Uh, remember, make sure you go through these journal questions carefully. 
Um, yeah, I hope that uh, I hope that helps.